Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 26, lesson 25 of the Illumined Faith, Mystical Interpretation of the Gospel of St. John by R. Swinburne Clymer. Lesson 25, the Christ does not appear to man until he has finished the work. When the transmutation has taken place, then comes the illumination. St. John chapter 7, 25 through 53. 25. Then said some of them of Jerusalem, Is this not he whom they seek to kill? 26. But, lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? 27. How be it we know this man whence he is? But when Christ cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. We may know the man, but unless we ourselves have lived the life and received divine illumination, we cannot tell whether he has received the Christ or not. We will know that there is some strange power manifesting through him. But being ignorant of the Christ, how can we recognize what it is? Only he who has found the Christ within himself can know the Christ. 28. Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am, and I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. 29. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. 30. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him, because his hour was not yet come. 31. And many of the people believed on him, and said, When Christ cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man hath done? 32. The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priest sent officers to take him. 33. Then said Jesus unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Jesus knew that the end of his work was nearly at hand, and, knowing this, he knew that he would return to the Father, not to be a part of God, but to be with God. For he was become a conscious individualized soul, an entity which, through its consciousness, would remain an entity. 34. Ye shall seek me and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. Only those who have obeyed the divine law and become conscious of the solar individuality can reach the plane on which dwell those who have reached this consciousness. This is the right hand of the Father. 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispressed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? The Jews, not having lived the law, were blind to everything except that which was of the flesh. They could not understand anything that pertained to the soul. The only place they knew was the earth, whereon dwells the body of man. 36. What manner of saying is this? He said, Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. 38. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. 39. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Glorification comes to man when he receives divine illumination and becomes one with God. When the light breaks in heaven and he sees the Father of light therein, then has he become glorified. For the Holy Ghost, which is soul consciousness, has descended upon him. 40. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said, Of a truth this is the prophet. 41. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, Shall Christ come out of Galilee? 
42. Hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was? 43. So there was a division among the people because of him. 44. And some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. 45. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto him, Why have ye not brought him? 46. The officers answered, Never man spake like this man. 47. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are ye also deceived? 48. Have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? Those in power, no matter what the age or the time, will only believe in that which their class accepts, no matter how great a truth may be. If it does not issue from one who belongs to the favored ranks, it is considered a falsehood. And if one who does not belong to the favored ranks dares to teach the truth to the people or dares to help them, that one is condemned, is persecuted, and may even be driven out of his birthplace. If a person has the sanction of those in power, he may preach error as truth, and it is acceptable. But if he does not have that authority, then he may not even preach the truth, nor may he do the works which are of the Father, even if they are for the good of man. Nevertheless, Blessed is he who persists in living the exalted life of the Christ, in spite of misunderstanding. 49. But this people who knoweth not the law are cursed. 50. Nicodemus saith unto them, He that came to Jesus by night, being one of them. 51. Doeth our law judge any man before it hear him, and know what he doeth. 52. They answered and said unto him, Art thou also of Galilee? Search and look, for out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. Not only will those in power condemn one not of their ranks, who dares to do anything they do not sanction, but they even condemn without giving his cause a fair hearing. It is enough to them that he does not bow down to their dictation, that he will not do as they do, that he will not pay tribute to them. Woe unto him who dares to be free. All men of the flesh are but slaves. Their slavery differs only in degree. Oft times it is even more grievous than literal serfdom. On the other hand, blessed is he who dares to be free. Free from the entanglements and the fetters of a deceiving, carnal nature. Blessed indeed is he. For he is free indeed, whom the truth, functioning in his own heart, hath made free. 53. And every man went into his own house. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.